The first thing I do when I get home after track practice is ask my mom what's for supper. If she hasn't made anything, I open up the fridge or pantry to find something to eat. If nothing looks good, I'll get some money and head to the grocery store or to one of our local restaurants. Now, imagine coming home and opening up your food pantry to discover that it's completely empty. You're hungry, but you don't have the money to go get something to eat, and you do not know what to do. Unfortunately, that's a reality for many families, even in small town Nebraska. Thankfully, my town has something to help address this problem. Our local food pantry, which is also called the bread box. The bread box has been operating for several years now, and it is currently doing a lot for our community, but it could even be better in the future. Living in a small town, you forget that there are some people who need the extra help in order to support their families. The local bread box is run completely by volunteers, whether it is by donating the food, helping organize the supplies, or working the bread box so people can come pick up what they need. The bread box was started in our community when churches and community members realized that Sutton needed this service. The Clay County Historic Society owns this building, which is composed of a group of volunteers who fit this into their busy everyday life. When the bread box first started, there were a few families who would come and get what they needed in order to provide for their family. It was a nice flowing system that could be opened whenever there was a request, and the historic, and the historic society had no worries about trying to find more people to donate the items. The bread box has been a big hit for our small town for a long time, and what it is doing for our community is truly amazing. Now, many of you are probably wondering how a bread box or food pantry exactly works. Here in Sutton, our bread box, which is located just a couple blocks from downtown, so it is very easy to access for everyone who needs it. Individuals or families who are in need for certain food items just go to the food pantry and pick out what they need. Now, there is a certain limit as to what they can take during their visit. They are supposed to only take what meets their needs. However, there are some exceptions. Some main items that people need are milk and bread. People who need this can't just completely clean the pantry out and leave nothing for the other families or individuals, as this is a community bread box. There are certain requirements that the community members have to meet. It is quite typical for members throughout the community to donate a lot of canned goods. This gives the people who are in need more flexibility as they can choose more canned goods than they could milk or bread. It is truly incredible to see how amazing our community is by helping out those people who are in need. It is very difficult living in a small town as everyone knows everyone. I am sure for some it is beyond embarrassing to walk into the food pantry and admit that you actually need some help from the community. What is very special about our community though is that I have never seen anyone who is working the food pantry judge that individual for coming in and getting some food items. Some members feel that they donate too much. However, the Historic Society will be the first to tell you that you can never donate too much. Citizens throughout our community really don't realize how many people use our local bread box. There are several people who will randomly donate a certain amount of items to the bread box. But how do you know that those items will be enough? How do you know that the people will consistently bring those items so that the bread box never reaches a low point? The answer is, you really don't know, which can become a great worry. I am a member of the FCCLA organization in our school. During the month of November, we have a contest between each class in our high school to see who can bring the most items. In the end, we donate all of those items that we collected to the food pantry. We also have a night where we canvas around town and go from door to door to collect food items. We, this is all do donated to the food pantry. Believe it or not, all of those items that we collected is lucky enough to last a month. It is beyond crazy how fast those items are all used up. Our local bread box is suffering with keeping enough items on hand. 
Our Clay County newspaper just published in the paper that the Historic Society needs desperate help at our local bread box. The bread box reached a point just a couple weeks ago where there was absolutely no food items left on the shelves. I thought of a way to help solve this problem of not having enough food. There are several different organizations within our school and community besides just FCCLA. Many groups, whether it is school, church, or community related, are always looking for ways to do community service. I think it would be very constructive to have a system where each group would be in charge of a month. During that month, they would have to come up with a way of collecting enough food for the bread box. Doing this would reassure that there would never be a question if there was enough food. Each month of the year would be taken care of. People throughout the community could still donate their random items, but having certain groups in charge of the month of each month would help avoid that uncertainty. Imagine how hungry you are when you get home after a long day. You check the fridge, not expecting to find anything, but there is some food ready to cook, and you remember that the day before you had stopped at the bread box. Hunger is a huge issue everywhere, including our town. In our local food pantry, the bread box is working very hard to solve this problem. First, we talked about how our local bread box got started and who exactly was in charge. Then, we discussed what the bread box currently does for members throughout the community. We then concluded with the desperate need for more items at the bread box and how we could help solve this problem. It is truly incredible to see how supportive our community is to help those people who are in need.